Hey, how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Count Jensula, and welcome to another Pokemon Go Deep Dive video. Today we're going to be talking about Hydreigon with Brutal Swing. This is a Pokemon that I really wanted to cover, especially in light of Dino Community Day, especially because I really think this is one of those Pokemon that improved significantly with the introduction of a Community Day move. I'm going to be explaining why in this video, so let's roll the intro and get right into it. Alrighty, let's dive into Hydreigon. So, this is a Dark and Dragon type Pokemon that is the final evolved form of Dino. It is a very powerful Pokemon in its own right, but recently with Dino Community Day, it received the exclusive move Brutal Swing. The introduction of this move to Hydreigon's move pool definitely changes things. It does make this Pokemon really strong as a raid attacker, while also being a very decent PvP Pokemon as well. So let's start off with the basics. First and foremost, Hydreigon has an attack stat of 256, a defense stat of 188, and a stamina stat of 211. These are the base stats for this Pokemon, and if you were to max it out, it would have a CP of 4098. Now you can tell right here that with the attack stat, it is extremely powerful as a raid attacker, especially because it does have a really good moveset that you could use, but in terms of dragon types, there's going to be better options out there. So let's talk about those moves right now. Hydreigon's fast attacks consist of the dark type move Bite or the dragon type move Dragon Breath. Both of these fast moves are extremely powerful for each of these typings, but between the two of them, I would suggest going with Bite because Hydreigon is going to be much better as a dark type attacker. Now in terms of its charge attacks, it could come with, of course, Brutal Swing, which is the brand new move introduced through Dino Community Day, but it could also have Flash Cannon, Dark Pulse, and Dragon Pulse. Now from a raid damage point of view, Hydreigon is going to be better as a dark type attacker, which means that when it comes to these charge attacks, you will want to go with either Brutal Swing or Dark Pulse, but we need to determine which of these is actually better. Now from a pure DPS point of view, Hydreigon with Bite and Dark Pulse will give you a DPS of 12.97, while a Hydreigon with Bite and Brutal Swing will give you a DPS of 17.53. This is pretty significant because this makes Hydreigon the best dark type attacker that is not a Mega. The previous best dark type attacker was of course Darkrai with Snarl and Dark Pulse, but that will only give you a DPS of 16.803. What this means is that if you are going to be using Hydreigon for raid battles, you will want to go with Bite and Brutal Swing. Of course, if you were planning to use Hydreigon as a dragon type attacker, it's going to fall off pretty hard. So I would suggest just using it as a dark type attacker. It it is one of the best, if not the best, dark type attacker currently in the game with Brutal Swing. Something else you should take note of is that Hydreigon has a lot of certain weaknesses, but it also has a lot of resistances as well. The types that Hydreigon are weak against are bug types, dragon types, fighting types, and ice types, and it also has a double weakness to fairy types. Now in terms of its resistances, it is going to be resistant to psychic types, dark types, electric types, fire types, ghost types, grass types and water types. This is a pretty hefty list of resistances, so this means there's going to be a lot of chances for you to get some good type coverage with Hydreigon, and that is something you should definitely consider. In the Master League, you have a lot of Psychic types, Water types, and Grass types in that meta, so that is something that you could use to your advantage. Next, let's move on to PvP, because I really do think Hydreigon has improved significantly with Brutal Swing. While this Pokemon may not be useful for the Great League or the Ultra League, it can be a powerhouse for the Master League. In terms of its PvP moves, I would suggest going with Bite as the fast move, and then for the charge attacks, I would go with Dragon Pulse and Brutal Swing. This will give you a decent amount of type coverage in the Master League, considering that there's a lot of Pokemon that are weak against Dark types and Dragon types in the Master League meta, and there's going to be very few Pokemon that are going to counter Hydreigon. 
Of course, considering that this Pokemon has a double weakness to fairy types, that means you will want to watch out for Togekiss, that is probably going to be the hardest counter to this Pokemon within the Master League. There is also Zacyan, which you will have to watch out for, considering that it is going to be a hard counter to this Pokemon, but if you have a lot of good type coverage with other Pokemon on your team, like for example with Metagross and Meltmetal, you should be good to go. Overall, Hydreigon is a top tier dark type Pokemon, and that is due to the fact that it received the move Brutal Swing from Dino Community Day. This is a pretty significant improvement and it's one you should not ignore. If you are looking for one of the best dark type attackers in the game, then you will definitely want to go with Hydreigon with Brutal Swing. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a lot of significance as a dragon type attacker, but it really does shine as a dark type attacker. Considering that there's not a whole lot of dark type raid attackers currently in the game, it's really good that Niantic gave this Pokemon a very powerful dark type attack and catapulted it to the top tier. I think the only Pokemon that beats this Pokemon in terms of dark type DPS is going to be Weavile, and that is of course if you do not include Mega Evolutions that have a dark typing, like Mega Absol, Mega Houndoom, and eventually Mega Tyranitar. But even comparing it to Weavile, I would go with Hydreigon for raid battles, considering the higher amount of defense stat and stamina stat, that makes it a lot more well-rounded and able to survive in raid battles a lot longer. And considering the high DPS that Bite and Brutal Swing gives it, it's still going to be top tier, even though it's not going to be the absolute best DPS. If you do not have a high IV of Hydreigon with Brutal Swing, I highly suggest you target this Pokemon in trades, because it is going to be extremely useful in just about every aspect of Pokemon Go that requires a Dark type. For the longest time, we've only had Darkrai and Yveltal as the best Dark type attackers, but now that Hydreigon is in the mix and it's much easier to get, I do think this is going to be a good thing for Pokemon Go moving forward, and I really do hope that Niantic continues to add some meta relevant moves like Brutal Swing through community days moving forward. Anyway, yeah, this was my deep dive on Hydreigon with Brutal Swing, but let me know your thoughts regarding this Pokemon down below. Do you have yourself a 100% IV Hydreigon with Brutal Swing? Definitely let me know down below, and yeah, let's have a great discussion regarding this Pokemon. It's a really good one, and I'm really glad Niantic gave it Brutal Swing because we've been needing a really good Dark type for a long time. Now, if you ended up enjoying this video and found it to be helpful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here, and don't forget that little bell so you stay up to date on whenever I upload videos, and I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, then do consider checking out the links in the description below. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'm Count Jinsula. be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.